Welcome to episode 18. This is the Todd and Deborah Show. And we have a fantastic guest today. Her name is Vinnie Cavallaro Teresi, and uh, her credentials are CRTS and CMP. And I'm going to let you explain that, Vinnie. CRTS is a certified relocation and transition specialist, and CMP is a certified marketing professional, both with regard to senior housing and senior living. So I am a specialist in helping seniors transition from a larger living environment to that of one of a more reasonable size. So I transitioned hundreds of seniors through this now sizing process. No wonder your book is as stellar as it is. We recently downsized. We wish we'd had your book first because boy, do you know the drill. And it's it's only a few pages and it's also very readable and understandable. It's not like a manual or anything like that that would be really tough for people to use. Todd, I call it a workbook. Because right. it's it's intended to write in and dog ear and and use as as a as a resource and as a reference. Yeah, and I like the calendar part of it too, where you really break down the eight weeks before and and what right. things you're responsible for, because it would keep somebody I think online and really in the movement of of the move. And now sizing is a way of um, managing, helping to educate, both in terms of going to a different living community and in terms of what they can take with them and. So much of what we have is not necessarily what we need. Mm. So if we can help the older adult understand that, then relinquishing the stuff becomes less impactful. It is a question mark about what do you need because you've never done this kind of downsizing before. You've sure. moved before, but this is this sure. is a biggie. And I love how you have so many cool tips I never would have dreamed of. And we should mention that if they go to nowsizing.com, they can order the book. The rest of the website's kind of, you know, going to be uh, informational also. Because uh, this whole thing is, it's a trademarked uh, LLC, but it's trademarked under educational process. Huh. So it helps people understand not just what to do, but how to do it. It's real easy to say, you don't need three of those, you only need one. Well, but if you are, if you like all three, how do you choose? How do you make that decision? And hopefully it will help people understand, help them manage and navigate their way through it. Todd was talking about how wonderful it was to have the, the scheduling there. I mean, yeah. we all know we need to make these calls or whatever, but I just, uh, I had a little post-it notes everywhere of trying to remind me and then I'd lose those. But you've got these wonderful little charts, little, you know, just things to do. It just makes it so easy. Yeah, good stuff for both people that have to deal with visual and then also very, you know, analytical kind of folks. Yeah. Right. It's important to understand, you know, with whom you're working or who's going to use this and especially an older adult on their own. Mm -hmm. Um, But it also helps adult children. I have had clients who will have two books. Mom will have one and the kids will have one. So Uh they're far away from each other. But, you know, Susie will say, mom, on page four, look at this. And this is how you're going to do this. It's very helpful. It can be such an intimidating experience. But we, those of us that have done it, you've done it, we've done it. We know what's on the other end. All of that trepidation was so worth it because the liberation of your small space and loving what you did keep and even the donating stuff, feeling so good. I'm like, this made me happy for all these years. Now it's going to make somebody else happy. When I downsize. I moved all my daughter's very important things, like their green and white pom-poms that they haven't used in 30 years and (laughs) their art projects. Now, it's interesting. They don't want me to throw that away, Oh, but they don't want to have it either. (laughs) Had I been doing what I preached, I would have gotten rid of that stuff before I moved. Have in your home what you know to be useful or you believe to be beautiful. Oh, what a good way William to William Morris it. said that. I and understand that. you've got to go to a smaller space. So the logistical part of this is really important. Yeah. So part of what we do at the con- consulting end of this is we can develop 3D and 2D floor plans that will help the adult see where their stuff is going to fit. And that's very useful to them, too. You get When you get the book and you see that it's manageable, it does automatically de-stress yeah the yeah. situation. Incidentally, I remember downloading one of those little floor plan things from like some app or something and thinking, oh, this is going to be great. I never could figure it out. It was just total waste yeah. of whatever the money was. So I love that you guys have that and can really make it work. All you need, I assume, is the dimensions of the dressers and beds right. and so forth. And, right? and, so, and if you're right, it takes a long time to try and figure that. It's, a very, it's probably the most time consuming piece of the consultation, but 
it's really important yeah. because it helps people understand that they really aren't going to have to relinquish everything. Yeah. It's just a matter of choosing wisely, we discovered ourselves. Exactly. And, and also between furniture, like we had two hutches. One was larger, so I assumed that would hold more. And then when I actually went in it, no, it, it the way it was built, the, the smaller one yeah. held more dishes and so forth. And I was like, perfect, because I did need, and it's a tiny hutch, but it was exactly but, the right amount to put all of our yeah. holiday stuff, everything. You know, our problem was, is that we were keeping stuff that the kids didn't want. Now, see, we uh, thought they wanted it. We thought yeah. they did, all the projects. So finally, I thought, well, I'm going to send pictures to see, you know, if they want this one or that one. And they said, oh, Why wow, you, you kept that. It? Why did you keep that, Mom? And I said, well, because you loved it. Well, yeah, I loved it when I was seven. But then they said they wanted a photo of the kid's project or whatever, or even in some cases, like a paper that they wrote that they won a prize or something. Four pages long, snap, snap, snap. And I started realizing, wait a minute. So many of these things, I was going to be so sad as I brought over to donate, but the digital version is all I needed. Yeah. So, wow, what a huge saver that was, right? Uh, it makes you feel good. Yeah, this exactly. Is about emotion, right? And yeah. managing that emotion. I loved when you started the book, how you explained how you came to the now sizing <laughs> you know, thought about your mom, if you would share that. I was helping my mom unload her dishwasher and um, I had silverware in my hand and I was going to put the silverware away. Uh, I opened the drawer and I discovered a cotton linen dish towel, which we all know what we're talking about, the, <laughs> yeah. time, the two blue stripes, right? Yep. And I said, you know, what is this, Mom? I, I pulled it back. She goes, well, that's my everyday good silverware for when your aunts and uncles come over and I entertain. Now, my parents always entertained a lot. My mom still did. But at that point, my mother was 83 years old. And mm -hmm. I said to her, I said, I, you're not going to out entertain this silverware, mom. Start living for the way you need to live now. Get rid of your old stuff. You deserve to use the good new everyday silverware. <laughs> yes. now, independence is not based on life space, but on lifestyle. Ah. So your size of where you're at is not, is, is not directly relatable to what your lifestyle is. I mean, you're in a smaller you know, living environment than what you were, as am I. I don't feel anything but independence that I don't have, you know, the lawn to mow and the up here, the three feet of snow to shovel. <laughs> and that. The liberation of being able to say, wow, I have everything I need and it yep. feels great because less is more. I mean, I it finally is. get it. Less is more happiness, more freedom. Just, I don't know, Absolutely. an energy yeah. that, yeah. Thank you so much, Vinny. This has been fun chatting with you. The book is now sizing. The website is nowsizing.com. So congratulations to all of you out there yes. who are now clicking nowsizing.com. Yes. You're on your way. <laughs> Thanks for your time, Vinny. Thank you very much.